वेलकम बैक डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू द फिजिक्स रीजन क्लासेस द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज आर इज द पोजिशन वैक्टर गिवन बाय दिस थिंग देन वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ यूनिट वैक्टर आर कैप ओके सो वी नीड टू टेक द डेरिवेटिव और डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ आर कैप विच इज गिवन बाय कर्ल बाय कर्ल एक्स ऑफ R cap which is x divided by under root of x square plus y square plus z square. Okay, this is ith component plus curl by curl y of this time we will be taking y upon the whole factor R which is x square. Plus y square plus z square under root, and next term similarly will be curl by curl z of z by under root the same factor x square plus y square plus z square. Now we need to take the derivative of it. ये हमने क्या किया है? We have taken here r cap is equal to r vector. Divided by its magnitude, r vector is given to be this, and its magnitude comes out to be this, under root of x square plus y square plus z square. Now I'll take the derivative. After taking the derivative, what will we get? We'll get divergence of r cap is equal to derivative with respect to x is by using the quotient rule. तो x स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर ऊपर आ जाएगा डेरिवेटिव ऑफ x इज वन माइनस x इज एट इज इट इज एंड डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस टर्म इज हाफ इन टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर पावर माइनस हाफ ओके इन टू टू एक्स and divided by the whole term is taken in the square so it is it becomes x square plus y square plus z square this is the first term only first term which is derivative with respect to x okay similarly we will take the derivative with respect to y and derivative with respect to z the difference in these terms where will be the differences this will be the remain the same okay in y as well as in z and in this term we will be getting here we will be getting y or z and here also we will be getting either 2y or 2z okay rest of the terms are same so when we we'll put it this two will be cancelled out with this two in each of the terms Finally, we will be getting three times of this, three times of this. Okay, so we can write it as this under root of x square plus y square plus z square minus this x multiplied with this x will give us x square. In the next term, we'll have y square. in the next term we will have z square all are with the negative sign so this negative sign is taken out of the bracket and this term is common in all so it can be written as x square plus y square plus z square minus half now the whole term is divided by one factor which is x square plus y square the numerator is written and denominator is common in all that is equal to this now if you observe the above factor what will you get what will you get you will get this x square plus y square plus z square divided by this under root of x square plus y square plus z square will give us the power to be 1 minus half that is half only okay so i have cancelled out with this 
and this half this is three times of under root of this which is r so i can write it as i can write it as this factor as 3r minus r upon r square which is 2r upon r square which is 2 upon r hence option a is the correct answer to this question okay so stay tuned with us and thanks for watching